Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to the opening round of the Rugby Championship. This one today, the All Blacks going up against Argentina. What a huge game in store today. New Zealand coming off the back of their summer tour going up against England. Argentina coming off the back of a slightly questionable summer tour versus France. Two huge teams today. Lots of fun players to take a look out there, including some very dangerous players like Mateo Carreras there on the wing for Argentina. Damien McKenzie coming in at fly half this week for New Zealand, who will get us kicked off and underway with Bowden Barrett playing in the fullback shirt as they go for a high kickoff to start out this game as Ardi Save manages to get under the ball nice and early for this one as Finley Christie oh, thought he saw room questionable whether maybe the Argentina player I think that was Kramer not maybe back on side the referee seems to have missed it the ball gone loose there as well but the referee says it has gone backwards New Zealand might feel like they've been done over a little bit there but they have the line out. At least this will be their opportunity to take as they go out the back here. And Jordy Barrett on the charge playing in that inside centre where he's been so phenomenal for a good while now playing in that number 12 shirt. Of course, we saw some new players over the summer internationals as well. But there is his partner, Rico Iwani, in the outside centre. And Damien McKenzie, oh, trying to get it out quickly there to Will Jordan on the wing. Not managing to get it as Bowden Barrett. Oh, sorry, Jordy Barrett stepping in now in that uh, fly half position just to play there because Damien McKenzie was wrapped up in the ruck. And New Zealand are having to fight very, very tough just to get their hands back on the ball there. They'll have to go through just one phase here as Luke Jacobson runs up into the challenge there. Who have they got outside them now as Damien McKenzie thinks he sees room. Out they go to Will Jordan. Mateo Carreras runs in. Will Jordan goes around him. Are they going to manage to get back to the ball? Will Jordan does, but driven into touch by Thomas Gaggio there. Well taken into touch, which gives us Argentina's first line out of the game. And they are not messing around as they rush that one in. Don't want to be messing around with this New Zealand line out. Get it in, get it out, secure the ball. It's a nice move there as Montoya offloads it out to Gajo, smashing his way up. Oh, sorry, it was Gomez Codella in the knock on there, tackled very, very hard into the ribs, just loosening up that ball going in. There was Dalton Papali, he is a good tackle. Coming in there and we'll go for a scrum. Finley Christie looking to go very quickly early on from the back of one of these uh, set play areas. Let's see if he'll do the same again. Always going to be fun to watch. Now the scrummaging for anyone who saw the Argentina-Uruguay game was absolutely monstrous coming in from Argentina. New Zealand will know they don't want to mess around too much with holding that ball in. And they don't as they go to Ardi Savea on the charge on his own. Doesn't need anyone with him. Just hands through the player and goes over for the first try of the game no messing around from the steam train that is Ardi Sarvea off the back of a set piece I actually think uh, the scrum half went the wrong way here let's have a bit more of a, a consistent look at that I think the ball came in for that scrum and Ardi Sarvea went to the right obviously told by Finley Christie there the scrum half not realizing didn't get quickly across enough for that one and a good smash there on Malia to be able to put him to ground and New Zealand will go over for the first try of the game only 15 minutes in and Damian McKenzie will set this one hoping to make this one into seven points for New Zealand let's see if he can get it over he loves that little smile as he takes a look over to the post nice and easy for someone of his talent scores that one through he's happy with it a little high five there just to celebrate that puts them on the scoreboard nice and early Argentina will need to try and bounce back in this game and there he is the try score Adi Savea once again just charging his way up the line, no messing around there as they pop it back to Rico Iwani, who actually thinks he's seen room here for Severis to go on the charge. Or oh, maybe, maybe not going up that Argentinian winger who just runs in a bit more beef on him on that side. Cordero always up for a huge tackle and manages to smash him to ground. Oh, and Argentina have had a bit of a break here and Will Jordan's going to have to do really well. Holds up in the tackle to get across. Oh, the grubber kick round. Was it necessary? And Bowden Barrett having to try and sort this one out. Rushes it back up through the centre, but a turnover not supported by his own man in Argentina. Think maybe they can smell blood in the water here. Can they make the most of it? Oh, it doesn't look like they've managed to. Very, very well worked by New Zealand to be able to sort that one out. And Damien McKenzie just wants to kick that ball clear. Fine touch and does. Argentina don't want to play it in quickly. Man, oh man, you thought maybe there was an opportunity opening up there for Argentina as they go for the line-up taken though by Scott Barrett. Well worked by them. 
to hold this one in. Ardi Save this time wants to play it out wide. Oh, it's gone a bit loose. And Rico Iwani has to just try and collect. They do have men on the outside here. And it goes to Will Jordan. Thinks he sees room. Or oh, maybe a slightly late tackle there. Managing to get the kick away. Amalia this time thinks he sees room in that backfield. Who's going to get back for it? Bowden Barrett this time going on the charge. We know he's always up for something exciting. Goes for an up and under. Maybe got a slight bit of slice on that ball. But Rico Iwani does well to reclaim the ball. And Finley Christie once again looking for that snipe. We saw it earlier on in this half. It might be something New Zealand are looking forward to. And Geordie Barrett thinks he sees Will Jordan across the pitch there. What a great little crossfield kick. And he tries to get round the outside. Who's with him? The grubber kick on. Will Jordan's got the pace to take this one down. Can he manage to put it down in time? The referee says we'll go to the TMO. And he's judged that he went into touch so close to what a brilliant try that could have been. Great vision by Geordie Barrett. To be able to see that the crossfield kick was on. Argentina survive an almost definite try. If there was one man you put money on to score from there, it would be Will Jordan. But they do well to hold up in defence and manage to take him out just beyond. Now, how can Argentina get out of this? They just go for an easy box kick now as it falls down to Bowden Barrett. Where's he looking? He actually thinks maybe the drop goal is on. He thinks maybe something a bit different there. Went for it. Didn't work for him. Argentina wants to just kick this clear. Oh, it's not a great kick though. And Severi says, yes, please. I'll have a bit of that. Oh, managing to get round. And the touch judge has flagged him for putting a foot in touch just before he manages to get over for a try line himself. New Zealand will think a couple of scores have gone begging in this opening half. This could potentially be a 21 point to nil game. Slight mistakes are just costing them at the minute. If Argentina can go in at halftime with a 7-0 deficit. Oh, Damien McKenzie ran out the line for the interception on that one. Where can they go from here? New Zealand looking slightly bunched as they go to Laulala on this side. Severi's got a lot of work to do on his own there. No one really supporting him. Finley Christie having to jump into this ruck as well. They managed to survive. Argentina just going to want to get this off the field. Oh, it's been charged down though. And Coles picks it up to Dalton Papali. Got to try and straighten this line a bit for themselves. They rush in once again. Will Jordan being isolated out on this wing. There is the try score. Ardi Sarvea, a big man, meets another big man in that mid field and Argentina get a really decent clearance kick they'll only go in at half time 7-0 down the New Zealand coaching staff though might have something to say about whether more scores could have been taken well what an exhilarating opening half we had in this one all blacks going up against the Pumas New Zealand are definitely looking slightly shaky but they have looked dominant for more of this game so far New Zealand looking to play this one slightly more expansive it's been fun watching the looping passes but maybe just maybe some things have gone slightly wrong for them from trying to play slightly too exhibitionist style it didn't stop the big man though that is Ardi Sarve getting over for the only try we've had so far in this game off the back of the scrum charging himself managing to shake off the Argentinian scrum half and bashing his way through Melia to get over for the opening try just under the post converted by Damien McKenzie to take them out to that 7-0 lead Argentina nearly bit back pretty quickly after an early mistake and there was a lot of scrambling going on involved in that New Zealand 22 they did manage to recover and get their exit clearance eventually from that big attack and New Zealand will feel like maybe they've been hard done by two big try scoring opportunities going amiss will Jordan charging down the wing, managing to recollect the ball, getting taken over the line in the tackle, but just enough was done by the defender to drive him towards that dead ball line, not managing to get it down after the TMO concluded no try. And then Severis on the other wing, like we said, that expansive game has come in for them. Severis with a superb sidestep to get around the Argentinian defenders, just putting a foot in touch from what would have been a certain try for him, just having a nice little walk over, but not to be. Two tries got a miss for New Zealand. Argentina are still in this game they just need to get on the scoreboard nice and early in this second half let's see if New Zealand can hold out for a win or if the Pumas can bite back On to the second half then and we'll get kicked off and underway as the ball curling back in there. Tupovai does extremely well to be able to hold on to the ball. They want to try and go out wide to this wing. Severis this time. Something slightly different. Not going for the attack. Going for the kick downfield and chasing his man. Malia managing to get away. Oh, a loose pass though and Jacobson rushing onto the ball. Who's with them? Jordi Barrett is up this side calling for it. Doesn't manage to get there. Laulala taken down. Argentina have been aggressive in this breakdown today and it has made a bit of a nuisance for this New Zealand attack this time as Paulos on the charge through the middle there Finley Christie 
having to move up a little bit wider to try and work his way around, playing some nice little move there as Choco Perez managing to play the inside ball. They get out to the winger and Argentina playing some slightly more exciting rugby now and bouncing through some of these tackles and Jordi Barrett having to come in. There is a bit of a room now. Oh, but a loose pass. Oh, that might have cost them. There was so much room in the centre. The player not looking though and Severis just says, let's get this ball kicked away but doesn't manage it. Tackled. The ball gone straight to ground, says the referee. Knock on forwards as the winger bashing his way up now New Zealand are back in their 22 what has happened here the game has opened up a little bit now as Argentina feel like they can just go through the forwards this time this time not managing to make any room on that carry there what a great hit going in by Jordi Barrett their great defensive work as they have to try and rush across this time to shut down the Argentinian winger can they find that one extra hole in the defensive line it's trying to get there this time smashing their way through oh it's Kramer this time breaking through another tackle they're up to the five meter line New Zealand have managed to recover but they know they're in desperate trouble here Bowden Barrett's just going to fill in and try and get that clearance kick out does manage it it's actually a very nice clearance kick but not managing to find touch this time gets the jink around Yuani he's filtered back out onto that wing Argentina still applying the pressure going for the big charge oh it's a superb pass who's there to shut him down what a great tackle coming in by Bowden Barrett to stop that one who is out on this wing to shut down the speedster, managing to just get back in time. Argentina desperately looking to hold on to this one. New Zealand just want to try and reset their line. They're running a bit of a looping defensive line here just to try and wrap around to stop these offloads coming in. It's working well for them. Oh, it's the breakaway though. Maybe wasn't necessary for one more pass. Looked like he was there himself. Argentina are on the huge press at the minute. They try once again through the big man that time. It was Kramer not managing to smash through. Oh, the looping pass. They are playing so wildly now. They just want to go through the forwards. It was working for them before. Oh, and that time, though, the loose pass taken. And Coles manages to take it. Can they get that? Adi Sarvea is going to have to step in at scrum half. And Damian McKenzie just wants to get that ball off the pitch. And some substitutes coming in then at Fort New Zealand. A bit of shaking ground this time. Anton Linnett Brown has come on at centre, but it looks like Damian McKenzie's gone off. There's a whole bunch of swapping round going on up there for this New Zealand team. Jordy Barrett has gone back to fullback. Bowden Barrett has slidden into that 10 shirt. They obviously have been enjoying his aggressive style a bit more. Now, Argentina do have an advantage off the back of that lineout. I think that was for an offside. Can Argentina maybe make the most of this? They do have the advantage. Can they get somewhere with it? Or will they just take the penalty? Tubo is the one that's been done for offside. The referee says they're not spending any more time with it. They could go for the three. They could go for corner. But Argentina feel confident in their scrum. Is this the right move to go for? I'm not sure. I think maybe going for the three just to draw them within one score from being able to win might have been the way to go. Maybe even go for that corner and go for the driving mall if that's where they earned the penalty. But they're confident in it. And New Zealand get the early shove on here. Can they make the most of it? Hoskins to Tutu has also come onto the pitch for New Zealand. So there's some fresh legs in this scrum. It is absolutely brutal. And eventually, it does look like it's Finley Christie who's going to come away with it for New Zealand. And now, there's the new boy, Anton Linnett Brown. Oh, not managing to collect the ball to hand, though. Can they keep going wide? Ardi Sarvea puts it out this time to Sebu Reese. Kicks it over the top. It's now just a race. Who's going to get there first? It looks like it's going to be Malia, but being hunted down now. Or oh, the charge down coming in. Severis managing to collect the ball. Rico Iwani with a superb charge after that ball. Where can New Zealand go this time? And Dalton Papali. They might have caught Argentina on the back foot now. Can they keep going wide as they try? Oh, maybe that wasn't the right pass that time. Going out to Adi Sarvea. They want to go to the right. And there he is. Anton Linnett Brown. The new boy onto the pitch. Ships it out to Will Jordan. He didn't get his one before. But that time he will. Managing to get his second try. Going over there on the corner. Great work by him. Oh, sorry. It was Adi Sarvea who got the first try. I forgot that he didn't actually manage to get that one down. That is his first try of the game. He'll feel like he probably should have had two. Great work, though. Anton Lillard Brown coming on to that centre, just causing a nuisance for Argentina. And Argentina will feel like maybe this was a game where luck was on their side for a big majority of it, but eventually slipping away. As Bowden Barrett will step up now, of course. No Damian McKenzie on the pitch. Let's see how he gets on. We always know he's also a, uh, a decent kick taker, though. And, of course, slides that one through himself. Still wearing the 15, but in at that fly half shirt. Feeling good for them. 14 points to nil is how this game will seal out. It could have been more 
if it wasn't for some just some very unfortunate mistakes getting close to that touchline. New Zealand will feel very happy with how they were able to deal with that scramble defence. Maybe those substitutes coming on just at the right point in that game. Argentina will feel hard done by. They weren't able to get on the scoreboard. They could have taken the three for that earlier penalty, but they wanted the glory. They wanted to go for the try. Maybe calling for that scrum was the wrong move, though. But there we have it, guys. 14 points to nil, finishing us off at full time. Do you think this would be a similar scoreline to what we'll see on the weekend, or do you think Argentina could come in with an upset? Let me know down in the comments, guys. Make sure you hit the old like button. I'll see you next time, guys. Bye-bye.